Some of you might have snow, we got rain. The river's flooded, the roads are covered. So I'm coming into my semi-dry workshop to do a little bit of welding on an Easter Monday, and why not? So I think the first thing I'm gonna do today is start the week with gusto and tidy up the shop. I don't wanna be sat at home eating Easter eggs. You see this stuff here? We'll tidy all this bench up, it's not too bad. Sweep the floor, and then maybe, just maybe, do a little bit of welding. But I mean, wow, you don't want to be outside in this. Take another look. I spent a good few hours there putting a few more bits of the trim onto the tank. So we've got trim on the main outlet at the bottom down here, and that's above there. We've got it slightly offset so it's easier to get around the corner to the pumps because that's the front of the tank so we're slightly to the right. And then round the, uh, let's go the short way round you. Round the back we've also decided to put the trim on there as well so the timber clad doesn't clash with all the fittings. And we haven't gone all the way, we're not putting a, an upstand on that because I want the timber on the top so any liquid doesn't end up behind the insulation. It comes over the top and away. So I think I'm just gonna do that to the boil kettle. Maybe not the others just yet. I don't wanna use up all the steel that I've got. And of course, I have to still put the top trim on these fermenters here and here and here. So that will be the next job. I also need to cut some more pieces of steel and cut some lids and then start cladding. I've looked, I've already started looking on the internet this morning for matchboarding. Don't want anything really thick, maybe about eight millimeters, even five, six millimeter, like tongue and groove or shiplap timber. And I need it cheap. I'm talking 50 pence a meter cheap. Cheapest I've found at the minute is 89 pence a meter, but it's a long, long drive to fetch it. So have a search for me if you can find anything, guys. Match boarding, tongue and groove, 100 mil wide ish by about 8 to 10 mil thick. Find me a bargain. <laughs> As I says it's 20 to 7. I think that's late enough for an Easter Easter Monday, don't you? Grab my bag. Oh, another threat on the floor. I'll give you a quick recap of what we've done and then I'm gonna shoot home because it's been a long rainy day. So we finally got the uh, trim on the top of one of the fermenters. I probably will put a little bit round there, but uh, Maybe not yet, it just, uh, we'll see how we go. I'm running out of argon quickly. Um, it's not even showing on the secondary gauge now. So it's just down to 60 PSI on the other one. But yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna probably pull that one in and just start doing the top. I'm not wasting any, I'm gonna wait until the cylinder is absolutely empty and then we'll sit, send it across to workshop and get another one. But we're getting close, getting very close. This is really finicky work, it takes longer than anticipated. But hopefully this week should see us really break the back of this welding. And once we have lids on top, and I've been and picked up some timber, 
we're ready to then place an order for the elements. Uh, the bits and bobs that I need from GC Supplies, I, I can't really put a list together yet because I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just waiting on that. But we will be putting something in in a week or two. It's probably not going to be for too much though, so we might be able to uh, grab pretty much everything we need in one hit. So I'm going to wrap it up guys, I'm going to jump in the car, I'm going to go home and spend some time what's left of the day with the kids. See you tomorrow. Yeah.